Welcome to my channel Gameplay Game and please subscribe, thanks and play. Hey, welcome back everyone, General Tourney here, your host, and welcome back my friends to a brand new episode on the channel. So check this out, yesterday one of my loyal subscribers emailed me and he said, Tony, try out this extremely hard challenge. Now the challenge itself is to pretty much 3 star a Town Hall 11 base live, however you are not allowed to use a single troop which targets defenses only. That means no giants, giants are off limits, no balloons, no hog riders, no golems, no lava hounds. We are not allowed to use one of those five troops guys, so what we're going to do, we're going to build ourselves an army, we're going to get ourselves into a live attack, we're allowed spells, we're allowed heroes, but the question is... Can I 3 star a Town Hall 11 base without using a single troop which targets defenses only? If you think I can do it guys, smash a like on this episode. Let's go ahead and see if we can pick ourselves a cool army. By the way guys, just before we choose an army, if you've made it this far into the episode and you are subscribed to the channel, do me a favor, give me an insanely, I mean ridiculously hard challenge down below in that comment section. It can be absolutely anything. Comment your best idea down below. Give me a challenge which you do not think I can complete. If you see any comment which looks really cool and you would love me to try out, guys, leave a like on it. Hopefully I do see it and I will try it in one of the future episodes. So let me know something really hard to do down below in that comment section. But for now, let's build ourselves this army, get ourselves into this live attack and see if I can do some damage to some Town Hall 11. So we're going to start off by using a Super Queen Walk, guys. Going to go with five healers. Should be cool. We're going to use two baby dragons, and you know what? I'm going to use a really controversial troop. We're going to go with miners. I'm going to fill nearly every single one of the other spaces with miners, and I'm going to see if I can really take down this base. So we're going to go with five wall breakers, 28 miners, two baby dragons, and five healers. Spells, we're going to go with the three rage spells. We're going to choose a heal spell. Actually, let's make that two heal spells, two rage spells, and let's go with a free spell and a poison. That should do it, guys. Two heal spells, two rage spells, a free spell, and a poison. Are we going to do some damage to this base? Fingers crossed we are. So let's gem the spells. Let's gem the army. Let's get ourselves the heroes. We're going to go with a Grand Warden first. We're going to go with a Barbarian King and, of course, the Archer Queen. Now, the only rule, we must take on a Town Hall 11 base. And, of course, we're not allowed to use a single troop, which targets defenses only. So Baby Dragons don't, Miners don't, Healers, of course, only heal. And Wall Breakers, they blow themselves up. So we're good to go. So let's do this. As I said, if you're subscribed to the channel, let me know a really hard challenge down below in that comment section, guys. And please do not forget, if you're new around here, smash the subscribe button, guys. Leave a like to show some support and help us reach 1.5 million subscribers on the channel. First base we land on. Let's do this. Let's do this. No time like the present. Let's see what kind of damage we can do to this dude's base. So here we go. Wallbreaker's going to go in. Going to gain us access straight into the core. Baby Dragon going to go down on the right hand side, Archer Queen going to go down, going to drop down four healers just so we don't wake up that little eagle artillery, trying to keep it nice and quiet, there goes the Grand Warden just behind as well, let's see guys, I don't really know what damage we're looking at in this base, I'm going to try and do my best, trying to keep the, um, the Queen alive without having to use the ability, but there we go guys, going to have to get these healers, first Rage Bow has gone down, getting the healers raged up nice and early, Trying to do as much damage as possible to the base. Let's find out what's good. So here we go. Now we're going to drop down a baby dragon over on the left hand side. Going to go in with a barbarian king. He's going to stormtroop his way down there. The eagle artillery somehow still hasn't woken up. So that's great for me. And now the miners are going to go into the base. So here we go guys. Let's find out what kind of damage we can do here. Still got the grand warden's ability to use. Still got heal spells, still got pretty much everything. This is looking good, guys. There goes the Barbarian King's ability. There goes the Grand Warden's ability. Heal spell's gonna go down. Rage spell's gonna go down. Let's do this. Poison spell's gonna go down. We got a free spell to use as well. Free spell's gonna go down on the multi target Inferno Tower. And we got the Eagle Artillery looking okay, guys. Heal spell goes down in the center. Trying to pick off that Eagle Artillery as quickly as we can. Considering we are using miners, we haven't done a bad job so far, guys. Unfortunately, though, all the troops have avoided the center and, of course, gone around the outside of the base. Still got plenty of miners up and alive. Still got the queen's ability to use. Looks like it's going to be a really high percent. However, I do not think we will be three-starring the base, guys. Now, the queen is under attack from the eagle artillery, but 
We still have the Queen's ability to pop. Here we go. It looks like we're going to have to use it now. There goes the Queen's ability. Miners making their way around the outside of the base, guys. Check out that funnel. If we kept a couple of Miners back, we might have been able to three-star the base, guys. But unfortunately, it does not look like it's going to happen this time. The Archer Queen, though, getting healed back up from those uh, from those healers. And she's somehow still alive, but she goes down there. Grand Warden, one of the last remaining troops, still got a healer left that just got wiped out. Miners have been targeted, guys, getting destroyed left, right, and center. And it looks like the first attempt at this challenge has been a complete fail. But considering, as I said, we did use a mass amount of miners, not too bad at all. Not too shabby, 74%. Leave a like on the video, guys, if you think that was a cool attack. But let's go ahead and build ourselves a second army and see if we can do some more damage. So, we're going to allow that treasury to build up. In fact, we might even just max it out and keep all the Dark Elixir in there as well. So let's do this, guys. Here we go. Let's choose ourselves a second army. So the first attack was a Queen Walk. Didn't really go too great. This time we're going to use four Rage Spells, a Jump Spell, and a Poison. And the army, five healers. Going to go with two Baby Dragons this time. Or should we use a couple more? Let's stick with two. We're going to go with two Witches and a load of Bowlers, guys. This should be a cool army to use. Going to go 16 Bowlers, a third Witch... And we're going to finish it off with a couple of wall breakers and a final bowler going to take us to 17. Let's gem up the army, gem up the spells, grab ourselves the heroes and get ourselves into this second attempt at this hard challenge. Can I do it? Who knows? Let's find out, guys. Here we go. Going to search for another town. Who 11 hero spells and troops already. We haven't got a clan castle, so that could, you know, hinder us a little bit. But hopefully, fingers crossed, I can do it this time and uh, maybe pick up at least a two star on a base so let's find out what the challenge is going to be once we land on a good town hall 11 now this does have the eagle artillery guys but it is down and i'm not going to cheat i'm going to be honest i'm not going to cheat we could have taken that on could have had a really easy shot at a three star there but i don't want to you know kind of go for the easy option let's do this here we go landed straight on this oh my it does have max level defenses oh this is going to be hard but let's do it let's do it let's find out guys you know what we're not going to be chicken we're going to go for it. So Baby Dragon's going to go down on the left. Archer Queen's going to go... Sorry, on the right. Archer Queen's going to go down on the left. Quad Healer's going to keep one healer back once again. Baby Dragon should take out that uh, that that Archer Tower. Yep, it got taken out nice and early. Here we go. Archer Queen's going to swing over to the left-hand side as well. And we can actually drop in these Wall Breakers, guys, because it looks like the Queen... Oh, we didn't get in there. Damn. It looks like the queen is going to swing into the core. The baby dragon's alive. How? Damn. Baby dragon's beasting it. Somehow still alive. Here we go, guys. Got a rage spell ready to go now. Going to drop down a rage spell just to get this queen moving. Going to try and do as much damage as we can. There goes... Oh, the wall breaker went to the left-hand side. I was hoping it would go to the right, but unfortunately that did not happen, guys. Here we go. Going to drop down a bowler there just to clear this building to make sure the queen doesn't go too far. A defending clan castle's actually come out, and it's just a single archer, guys. Now, we still got two minutes inside of this battle, but we are going to drop down another rage spell. I want to get these troops moving. That cheeky little archer. Look at it. It's doing some damage. Okay, here we go. So we're going to drop down two more bowlers, guys, and we're going to make a funnel now into the center of this base. Let's take this down. Let's take this down. Here we go. Eagle Artillery is going to get ripped apart. Going to drop down a jump spell there. And now we're going to go into the base. So here we go, guys. There goes, oh no, we lost the queen to the single target Inferno Tower, damn, but here we go. Can we get these troops moving into the base? There goes the healer, still got a baby dragon, still got quite a few troops remaining. Here we go, guys, Rage Spell's gonna go down, of course, the Grand Warden's ability's already been used. Multi-target Inferno Tower gets taken out, but check out that perfectly placed jump spell. Sorry, not jump spell, perfectly placed, uh, giant big bomb, guys, destroyed. All of my troops, now we have made it into the center of the base, not looking too shabby at all, one star being secured so far guys, second star is definitely going to come, but of course we didn't even get to use the queen's ability, and that is solely because the single target inferno tower surprised me, I didn't even realize it was taking out my queen, and we lost her in a matter of seconds, check it out though, we have done some decent damage to this base considering, barbarian king also now being destroyed by the single target inferno tower, and it looks like, we're going to be ending once again around that 74% mark, guys. Not looking too great, but you know what? We're going to get ourselves into another challenge. We're going to do it once again. Let's end the battle there. Not going to carry on. Still had a couple of witches left in the center and a baby dragon, but there was no way without the Archer Queen we would be three-starring that base. So one final attempt 
Let's do this, guys. I believe in myself. Here we go. Four Rage Bells, one Jump, one Poison. This time we're going to bring some extra Wall Breakers. We're going to go with ten at least. Ten Wall Breakers, two Baby Dragons, five Healers, guys. Some Bowlers. And we're going to bring three Witches this time. One extra Bowler. And you know what? Let's just chuck in two extra Wall Breakers. There's the Heroes. There's the Spells. Sorry, there's the Troops. There's the Spells. Here's the Heroes. And Live Attack is going to commence. So let's see if we can do it this time. Heroes, Spells, Troops. Final chance. Third attempt, guys. Third time lucky. Is it going to work? Let's find out. So we're going to see if we can take on the first base we land on as long as it is a Town Hall level 11, guys. For some reason, it seems to be taking a while to search for an opponent. Hopefully, he's going to find a base. Here we go. What's it going to be? Town Hall 10 and it's dead. Wow. Okay, yeah, I do really want that loot, but of course we have nothing to upgrade, so we're just going to skip it, guys. There's no point in even keeping that base. Fingers crossed this one is going to be at Town Hall level 11. Let's wait and find out. Here we go, guys. Level 11. Single target and a multi-target. A little bit lower defenses, so um, yeah, we're going to go for this one and see what damage we can do to this base, guys. Here we go. Got a lot more wall breakers this time. But I'm kind of scared of that single target Inferno Tower because what it, what it done to me in the previous raid. So, um, let's find out. Is there going to be a clan castle? Okay, no clan castle. That's awesome. So, no CC means I'm going to pretty much wreck this base. So, let's do this. Here we go. Baby Dragon going to go down there. Archer Queen going to go down. Four healers once again, guys. Going to keep a couple of these healers back. Baby Dragon's made a nice funnel on the, uh, the right-hand side there. And that's going to allow my Archer Queen, Gino... Swing across, guys, and get into the base. So, let's do this. She should enter into the core, hopefully, and do some damage. Now, we're going to drop down the Grand Warden just behind. Nope, she hasn't entered. That's cool. Didn't really need her to enter, guys. She should enter here, though, and uh, go straight into the base. So, let's find out. Rage Spell going to go down. Trying to get this Archer Queen. Oh, we had to use the Grand Warden's ability because of that smelly little Air Sweeper. Annoying, but, you know, it had to be done, guys. Here we go. Rage Spells in. Wall Breakers in just behind should get ourselves into this core. Let's see how much damage this Queen Walk can actually do. Now, obviously, we're losing some of the healers. So there goes another healer down. Archer Queen is going to go down. Sorry, Rage Spell is going to go down. Trying to keep this Archer Queen alive. Oh, we just used the Queen's ability in time. She was going to get taken out by the Barbarian King. So we had to pop the King's ability. Sorry, had to pop the, um, the Queen's ability. Okay, here we go, guys. So... We're going to see if we can get these troops moving now. Here we go. Barbarian King going to go down. Bowler's going to take out that building. Rest of the bowler's going to go into the center. Let's find out. Obviously, we're going to use the, we're going to lose the Archer Queen, guys, but that's cool. Let's find out if we can three-star this base, guys. Really hasn't been too great, to be honest, but it's all for fun anyway. Here we go. Rage Spell goes down. Bowlers, Witches, everything should hopefully jump into the core of the base now. And uh, obviously, we've already used the Grand Warden's ability, so that's used. There goes a Poison spell, guys. Barbarian King's ability gets used. The core of this base is taken out and wiped out in seconds, guys. But can we three-star? Let's find out. There goes the second multi-target Inferno Tower. Still got plenty of healers up and alive. Still got plenty of bowlers. I'm not going to lie and say this was fair, guys, because, of course, it wasn't maxed out level defenses. But we haven't been using a Clan Castle. And uh, it looks like... I think we're going to three-star, but I'm not really too sure. Let's find out, guys. Still got a healer alive in the center. Witch over on the left-hand side. No, we're going to lose the witch, guys, but we still got a couple more witches left. Here we go. 80% secured so far. Can we take out that? Oh, damn, we lost, the, we lost the healer. We lost it, and there's only 29 seconds. It looks like we're not even going to complete this challenge, guys. Check it out. Still got one, two, three defenses left. We should have kept a baby dragon. Unfortunately, I didn't do that. I and mean, it looks like we're going to be coming close, but it's not going to happen. It's going to end. Damn. And then the Grand Warden targets the wall. You know what, guys? We're going we're gonna to cut this off here. We're going to try it again at another date. But let me know down below in that comment section what is a cool challenge you would love to see me try, guys. Let me know down below. Leave a like on the episode if you made it this far. Subscribe to the channel. I will see you shortly. Peace out.